So news over the weekend, apparently Billiton has secured a $45 billion loan facility. Yeah, it's nothing. $45 billion. And that's over a period of three years. Yeah, what will probably happen, um, as it was explained to me, is that this is just securing the funding. So if the Potash shareholders say yes to their $39 billion takeout, then they've got the cash facility to be able to pay for it, and they'll do bond issuances over time and restructure and perhaps make it a little bit cheaper. And what allows them to do this is they've been extremely cash generative over the last year or so. And their gearing is uh, way low. In fact, this is the lowest gearing that they've had in their uh, kind of their tenure history, if you want to call it that. And you still have the opinion that they're the only company that will be able to buy Potash, unless Exxon Mobil. Yeah. Well, well, or one of the big, the uh, yeah. If one of the big energy players can, you know, that someone of Exxon Mobil size and scale. Mm. Well, they got uh, annual revenue for the last financial year, three hundred and ten billion dollars. And they go, I mean, this is a company with a similar market Biggest company cap. in the world, huh? Yeah, and the year before, they had, um, they had nearly half a trillion dollars worth of turnover. 470 billion dollars worth of turnover for the financial year 2008. That's wow. Not bad, eh? So they're the only ones. Even though there are, you know, Sinochem, there are signs you know, in the Chinese newspapers over the weekend that maybe the government would be a backstop. But somebody said, no, 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 because the sum of Sinochem's assets, and let's just remind everyone, this, this, this potash deal is worth $39 billion mm. at $130 a potash share, which it's not. And they're looking for more. And they're looking for more, in fact. But, um, you know, it's, it's worth about another 50% than the sum of Sinochem's uh, assets. So, pff, I don't know. And do you think the Canadians want the Chinese? The Canukians. I don't know. I don't know, Baron. I think everyone seems to be wary of the Chinese. Bearing in mind that we read something fascinating on the weekend about the diamond mines in Morangi and how Antonov takes off and lands and there are no flight plans and diamonds go out and people come in. Whoa, and I think everyone's scared of the Chinese in the long run. Uh, I mean, in the short run, I think in the long run it's good, beneficial for all of us, isn't it? In the long run, everyone loves them. Everyone should love them, you know. If they got richer consumers and their currency is forced to appreciate, that'll make our exports even more competitive. But in the short run, in the yeah, in the interim, potash of some, um, a billion of this money available uh, to them, whether or not the deal will go through at 130, I think it's unlikely. Probably closer. Well, the to loan facility was for 45 billion, not 39. Not 39. So maybe they're expecting a. Well, the increase. share price is telling you, you know, it's close to 150, mm -hmm. trading slightly below that. They're probably going to have a second go somewhere around 150. We'll have to wait and see. Cool.